All right, now we're going to, I'm gonna show you how you can easily manipulate the object, whether it's video or photo, this doesn't change. You can use the two finger pinch method here to make your object larger and smaller. You can also shift, you can make the person go upside down. It's a lot of fun to play with and has a lot of possibilities here, but it's very basic, very easy, very intuitive. Um, you can just play around with it and you'll get the hang of it really quick. Uh, we can also start putting layers in the background. Now the layers, everything we put behind it, the only thing that's going to show is where the green was. So all that green's taken out. So now we're going to hit that plus and I'm going to put an image back there. Nope, not that one. This image. So I'm going to give myself a nice backdrop here. When I click use, now, it doesn't look good right now. And that's because my chroma key is enabled. And I don't want the chroma key to be enabled on this one because it's my actual background. So there we go. I have my chroma key not disabled and I have a nice looking video. As you can see, the lines are still not perfect. And that I can adjust by with the sensitivity. Uh, I have to click on my picture first. So you can see how when I adjust the sensitivity, it can sometimes take me out of the picture. So you kind of have to play around with it a little bit and get a good feel for it. And as you go through it, and this, like I said, sometimes you might not be able to get out of it. Um, this was a shadow behind the arms. I should have stood a little bit more in front of the green screen to get rid of that. Hey guys, today I'm going to show you or explain to you how to conduct a controlled experiment.